Albert Decker was a prominent figure in the world of acting, leaving a lasting impact on both stage and screen. Born on December 20, 1905, Decker began his career in the late 1920s and quickly became known for his versatility and powerful performances. Throughout his career, Decker appeared in over 70 films, including classics such as The Killers, Dr. Alex Magic Bullet, and Kiss Me Deadly. He also had a successful career on Broadway, earning a Tony Award nomination for his performance in Inherit the Wind. But Decker's talents extended beyond acting. He was also a writer, producer, and director with a passion for social justice. He used his platform to speak out against fascism, racism, and corruption, making him a respected and influential figure both on and off the stage. Despite facing personal and professional challenges, Decker remained a dedicated and committed artist until his untimely death in 1968. His legacy continues to inspire and influence new generations of actors and activists, serving as a reminder of the power of art and activism to create positive change in the world. Actor Albert Decker is known for his work in film, television, and theater. He appeared in over 40 films and was also a successful stage actor. Decker's career spanned several decades, and he worked with many notable actors and directors. Do you have a favorite moment from one of Albert Decker's works? Is there a particular performance that has stayed with you? We would love to hear your stories and memories about this classic star. Is there a specific work of Albert Decker's that you hold closest to your heart? Whether it's a film, play, or television show, we would love to know which of his performances has had the greatest impact on you. Perhaps you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to Albert Decker. We would love to hear about it in the comments below. There are many fascinating facts about Albert Decker's life and career. From his early days on the stage to his work in Hollywood, there is much to learn about this talented actor. So, keep watching to learn more about Albert Decker and his enduring legacy in the world of entertainment. Albert Decker, born Thomas Albert Decker, was born in Brooklyn, New York, in 1905. His family had a background in the theater, with his mother being a singer and his father a playwright and actor. This upbringing exposed Decker to the world of acting from a young age. Decker's family moved to Hollywood when he was a teenager, where he attended Hollywood High School. It was there that he discovered his passion for acting and began performing in school plays. After graduating, he continued his education at the University of Southern California, where he studied drama. One of Decker's earliest influences was his father, who encouraged his interest in acting and introduced him to the theater. Decker's father also wrote plays, which provided him with early exposure to the creative process of playwriting. In addition to his father, Decker was also influenced by the work of renowned actor and director Konstantin Stanislavski. Stanislavski's approach to acting, which emphasized naturalism and emotional truth, had a profound impact on Decker's own acting style. Decker's career spanned over four decades, during which he worked with many influential figures in the entertainment industry. One of his most notable collaborations was with Orson Welles, with whom he worked on the film Citizen Kane. Decker's performance as the corrupt newspaper tycoon, Jim Geddes, was widely praised and is considered one of his most memorable roles. Throughout his career, Decker was known for his versatility and ability to take on a wide range of roles. From Shakespearean plays to film noir, Decker's work transcended genres and left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Albert Decker was an American actor who made significant contributions to the film industry during his era and beyond. He began his career in the 1930s and quickly became known for his powerful and intense performances. Decker appeared in over 80 films, including classics such as The Killers, Dr. Alex Magic Bullet, and Kiss Me Deadly. Decker's impact on the film industry was substantial. He was one of the first actors to demand better working conditions and fair compensation for his work, paving the way for future generations of actors. Decker was also a founding member of the Screen Actors Guild and served as its vice president for several years. In addition to his work in film, Decker was an accomplished stage actor. He appeared in numerous Broadway productions, including Inherit the Wind and The Lincoln Mask. Decker's contributions to the theater were recognized with a Tony Award nomination for Best Actor in a Play in 1960. Decker's influence on the film industry extended beyond his acting. He directed and produced several films and was known for his commitment to social causes. 
Decker was a vocal advocate for civil rights and environmental protection, and his activism earned him a place on the Hollywood blacklist during the Red Scare. Despite the challenges he faced, Decker continued to work in the film and theater industries until his untimely death in 1968. His legacy as an actor, director, and activist continues to inspire and influence artists and activists to this day. Decker's work remains an essential part of Hollywood's history and his contributions to the industry will not be forgotten. Albert Decker, born Thomas Albert Decker, discovered his passion for acting during his high school years. As a member of the drama club, he found joy and excitement in bringing characters to life on stage. One particular experience that fueled his desire to pursue acting as a career was his portrayal of the lead role in a school production of Hamlet. His powerful performance left a lasting impression on both his peers and teachers, and it was then that Decker realized he had a true talent for acting. After high school, Decker continued to hone his craft by studying drama in college. He later moved to New York City to pursue a career on Broadway, where he quickly made a name for himself with his captivating performances. Decker's passion for acting was not just about being in the spotlight, but also about exploring the complexities of human emotions and telling compelling stories that resonate with audiences. His dedication and talent eventually led him to a successful career in both theater and film. Albert Decker, contrary to some claims, was not blacklisted during the 1950s. He continued to work throughout the decade, appearing in notable films such as Kiss Me Deadly and East of Eden. However, his vocal opposition to Senator Joseph McCarthy during the Red Scare era may have impacted the amount of film work he received. Tragically, Decker's life was cut short on May 5, 1968, when he was found dead in his Hollywood apartment at the age of 62. He had accidentally hanged himself while engaging in a form of autoerotic asphyxiation. Decker was found naked, kneeling in his bathtub with a noose around his neck, and sexually explicit words written on his body in red lipstick. Despite the sensational circumstances of his death, the coroner ruled it accidental. Decker's career spanned over three decades, and he appeared in over 70 films. He also worked extensively in television and on stage. His contributions to the world of acting are still remembered and appreciated today. Decker was cremated, and his remains were interred at Garden State Crematory in North Bergen, NJ. Albert Decker, an accomplished actor, faced numerous challenges in his early career. Born in Brooklyn, New York, Decker struggled financially during his youth. To support himself, he worked various odd jobs, including a stint as a banker and a newspaper reporter. However, his true passion was acting. Despite his enthusiasm, Decker encountered skepticism from the industry due to his lack of formal training and limited experience. Undeterred, he persevered and began performing in local theater productions. His talent and dedication quickly caught the attention of prominent figures in the theater world, leading to opportunities for more significant roles. One of Decker's early obstacles was his distinct voice, which some critics initially deemed unsuitable for the stage. In response, Decker worked tirelessly to refine his vocal skills, taking diction lessons, and practicing his speech until he became one of the most respected actors of his time. Another challenge Decker faced was the limited range of roles available to him due to his physical appearance. At 6'2", with a muscular build, he was often typecast as a heavy or a villain. Determined to demonstrate his versatility, Decker sought out diverse and challenging roles, eventually earning praise for his nuanced performances in a variety of genres. Through resilience and hard work, Decker overcame these early obstacles and established himself as a respected and accomplished actor in both theater and film. His creative solutions, dedication, and perseverance serve as an inspiration to aspiring actors today. Albert Decker, a major star in the 1940s, is perhaps best known to modern audiences for his role as Harrigan in the 1969 film The Wild Bunch. In this movie, his portrayal of the tough railroad detective out to destroy the Wild Bunch left a lasting impression, despite being a relatively small part. Decker's career included dubbing all of Timothy Carey's scenes in East of Eden due to Elia Kazan's concerns about Carey's Brooklyn accent. This contribution, while behind the scene, showcased Decker's versatility as a performer. Before his acting career, Decker graduated from Bowdoin College in Brunswick, Maine, in 1927, indicating his commitment to education and personal growth. 
This background highlights the well-rounded nature of his life and career. In summary, Albert Decker was a talented actor who made a significant impact on the film industry, both in lead roles and through supporting contributions. His education and career demonstrate his dedication and adaptability. Albert Decker's career had several breakthrough moments that highlighted his acting abilities and versatility. In 1937, he made his Broadway debut in The Time of Your Life, which earned him recognition and paved the way for his film career. In 1940, Decker landed his first significant film role in Dr. Ehrlich's Magic Bullet, where he played the title character's lab assistant. His performance was praised, and critics noted his potential as a serious actor. Decker's breakthrough performance came in 1949 when he played the role of a power-hungry politician in The Killers. His portrayal of a complex and ruthless character was highly acclaimed and is still considered one of his most memorable performances. In the early 1950s, Decker starred in several successful films, including Kiss Me Deadly and The Wild Bunch. His performances in these films showcased his range as an actor and solidified his status as a leading man. Throughout his career, Decker received critical acclaim for his work on stage and screen. His peers and collaborators often spoke of his dedication to his craft and his ability to bring depth and complexity to his characters. Decker's career spanned over four decades, and he left behind a legacy of memorable performances that continue to inspire and captivate audiences. His contributions to the world of acting are still celebrated today and his work remains a testament to his talent and versatility as an actor. Albert Decker, born in Brooklyn and a graduate of Richmond Hill High School in Queens, New York City, made his mark in Hollywood. In 1940, he commissioned modernist architect Rudolf Schindler to design a house for him and his wife Esther in Canoga Park, California, which he later sold to screenwriter A.I. Bezerides. Decker's acting career included notable roles in film noir classics, he played Dr. G, Sobrin in Kiss Me Deadly, and shared the screen with Jack Lambert in The Killers, where they both portrayed menacing characters. Prior to these roles, Decker had already established himself as a talented actor, appearing in various films and plays. His work in Kiss Me Deadly is particularly memorable, where he portrayed a wealthy and menacing antagonist with sophistication and intensity. Decker's ability to embody complex characters with ease made him a standout in the film noir genre. His performance in The Killers alongside Jack Lambert further solidified his reputation as a versatile actor capable of playing diverse roles. Albert Decker, an accomplished actor known for his work in film, television, and theater, had a unique artistic vision and process. He was deeply committed to his craft and believed in immersing himself fully into each role. Decker's approach was characterized by thorough research and preparation as he sought to understand his character's motivations, experiences, and perspectives. Decker's personal experiences and worldview often informed his work. He was a politically engaged individual who advocated for various social causes, and this activism sometimes found its way into his performances. For instance, in his role as a union organizer in the film, The Underworld Story, Decker brought a level of authenticity and conviction that was widely praised. Furthermore, Decker was known for his ability to portray complex and nuanced characters. He had a knack for uncovering the humanity within each role, often finding common ground between himself and the characters he played. This ability to relate to a wide range of characters made his performances deeply compelling and memorable. Decker's artistic vision and process were marked by his commitment to authenticity and his dedication to understanding the human condition. His work serves as a testament to his talent and his enduring impact on the world of acting. Albert Decker, an accomplished actor, is known for his roles in Suddenly, Last Summer, and Kiss Me Deadly. In the French version of Suddenly, Last Summer, Decker was dubbed by Serge Nadad. He left behind two children, Benjamin and Jan, following the accidental death of his 16-year-old son, John, in 1957. Decker and fellow actor Struther Martin were last seen together in The Wild Bunch in 1969. In Kiss Me Deadly, Decker played the role of Dr. G.E. Sobrin. His career in Hollywood spanned over three decades, during which he contributed to various films and left a lasting impact on the film industry. Albert Decker was a prominent actor who made significant contributions to the film industry during his career. He was known for his versatility and appeared in a wide range of film genres, 
including film noir, western, and science fiction. One of Decker's most notable roles was in the 1950 film Kiss Me Deadly, in which he played the villainous Dr. Sobrin. His performance in this film is still highly regarded by film critics and fans alike. According to film noir expert Eddie Muller, Albert Decker's performance in Kiss Me Deadly is one of the most chilling and memorable in film noir history. Decker was also a respected stage actor and was a member of the group theater in New York City, an influential theater company that was known for its innovative approach to acting and storytelling. Decker's work with the group theater helped to shape his own acting style and influenced the work of many other actors and directors in the industry. In addition to his acting career, Decker was also a politician and served as a member of the California State Assembly in the 1940s. His experiences in politics informed some of his later acting roles and gave him a unique perspective on the industry. Decker's impact on the film industry can still be seen today. His versatility and willingness to take on a wide range of roles has inspired many actors to follow in his footsteps. As film historian Robert Osborne said, Albert Decker was a true pioneer in the industry. His ability to adapt to any role and his commitment to his craft continue to inspire actors today. Albert Decker was an actor who lent his talents to both stage and screen. In the film Suddenly, last summer, he played Dr. Hochstater and was dubbed by Giorgio Capecai in the Italian post synchronized version. Another notable role of his was Harrigan in The Wild Bunch, which turned out to be his final film as he passed away on May 5, 1968, at the age of 62. Beyond acting, Decker was also politically active. He served as the Democratic Assemblyman for California's 57th District, which encompassed Hollywood, from 1944 to 1946. His political career is a testament to his dedication to public service, demonstrating that his talents and interests extended beyond the world of entertainment. Albert Decker, an accomplished actor, had a rich personal life that heavily influenced his work. He was a private person, but those close to him knew him as a passionate and intellectual individual. Decker was an avid collector of art and books, often finding inspiration for his roles in the pages of classic literature. One of Decker's most notable values was his commitment to social justice. He was a strong supporter of civil rights and labor unions and used his platform to advocate for marginalized communities. In fact, Decker was a member of the Group Theater, a New York-based theater company that aimed to create politically and socially engaged works. Philanthropy was also an essential part of Decker's life. He was passionate about education and often donated his time and resources to support schools and educational programs. Decker believed that education was the key to unlocking a better future for all, and he worked tirelessly to promote access to quality education for everyone. These personal values and interests often found their way into Decker's work. Many of his most memorable roles reflected his commitment to social justice and his love of literature. For example, in the film Kiss of Death, Decker played a crusading district attorney fighting against organized crime. And in the play Inherit the Wind, he portrayed a character based on the real-life lawyer Clarence Darrow, who famously defended the right to teach evolution in schools. Decker's philanthropic efforts also extended to his work in the entertainment industry. He was a founding member of the Screen Actors Guild and worked tirelessly to promote fair wages and working conditions for actors. Decker believed that everyone deserved to be treated with dignity and respect, and he worked to ensure that his fellow actors had the same opportunities he did. In short, Albert Decker was a man of deep personal values and interests which informed his work both on and off the screen. His commitment to social justice, education, and fair treatment for all left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and beyond. Albert Decker was a prominent American actor who had a significant impact on the film industry. In the 1941 film The Killers, he portrayed the character Big Jim Colfax, driving a 1941 Cadillac Series 60 sedan. Decker was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 1620 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California on February 8, 1960, solidifying his place in Hollywood history. In the 1944 Republic film The Fighting Seabees, Albert Decker played a similar role to the one in Wake Island. The plot revolved around the conflict between military officers and the construction boss, which was a key theme in the film. John Wayne starred in this movie, taking on the role that Decker had played in Wake Island. Albert Decker was a talented actor 
known for his work in film, television, and theater. His legacy in the industry is marked by his versatility and commitment to his craft. He took on a wide range of roles and brought depth and authenticity to each character he played. For those aspiring to follow in his footsteps, Decker would likely offer the following advice first. And foremost, take your craft seriously and commit yourself fully to each role. Approach each character with a deep sense of curiosity and a willingness to explore their motivations and emotions. Don't be afraid to take risks and challenge yourself. Decker was known for his willingness to take on complex and nuanced roles, even if they were not always the most conventional or popular choices. Finally, remember that the industry is constantly evolving and it's important to stay open to new ideas and techniques. Embrace new technologies and approaches, but always stay true to your artistic vision and values. As for his own future contributions, Decker would likely have continued to push the boundaries of his craft and explore new and innovative ways to tell stories. He would have undoubtedly left a lasting impact on the industry and inspired future generations of actors and artists. Albert Decker, an accomplished actor, had a tragic end to his life. In 1968, he was found dead in his Hollywood home, naked, and with the words Call My Agent written on his chest in ink. The cause of his death was a lethal combination of autoerotic asphyxiation and heart disease. This shocking incident brought a sad end to a successful career in acting. Decker had appeared in over 50 films, including Dr. Cyclops and The Killers, and had been a prominent figure in theater. His death was a loss to the acting community and a tragic end to a notable career. Albert Decker was a passionate actor who left an enduring impact on the entertainment industry. From his early days on the stage to his memorable film and television roles, Decker consistently delivered captivating performances that showcased his incredible talent. Throughout his career, Decker was known for his versatility and his ability to bring complex characters to life. He was a true innovator in the industry, always pushing himself to try new things and take on new challenges. Decker's impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today, and his legacy continues to inspire new generations of actors and filmmakers. His work serves as a powerful reminder of the transformative power of creativity and the importance of perseverance in the face of adversity. At the heart of Decker's success was his unwavering passion for his craft. He loved acting with every fiber of his being, and he poured his heart and soul into every performance. Decker's dedication to his art was unmatched, and his legacy is a testament to the power of following one's dreams and never giving up. As we look to the future, Decker's story serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of creativity and perseverance. His life and work inspire us to pursue our passions with dedication and determination, and to never give up, even in the face of adversity. In the end, it is creativity and perseverance that define us and enable us to leave our mark on the world. Let us all strive to follow in Decker's footsteps, pursuing our dreams with passion and conviction, and leaving behind a legacy that inspires future generations to do the same. Let's take a moment to discuss the remarkable career of Albert Decker, a talented actor who left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. With a career spanning over three decades, Decker's work in both film and theater is worth appreciating. Some of his most notable film roles include Dr. Cyclops, The Killers, and Kiss Me Deadly. In addition, Decker was an accomplished stage actor, appearing in numerous Broadway productions such as Inherit the Wind and The Crucible. We would love to hear your thoughts on Albert Decker's work and legacy in the comments below. What was your favorite performance of his? How did his career influence the entertainment industry? If you enjoyed this deep dive into Decker's life and career, please don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family. And, of course, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content about the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment. Join the conversation and share your memories and appreciation for this talented actor. Let's celebrate Albert Decker's contributions to the world of entertainment together.